yeah so in this video i will be showing you guys beginners friendly um skincare routine what i do every morning and every other day like basically what i do on my skin every day i'm going to spill it all i'm not clickbait and like i said it's beginners friendly what to apply when to apply when not to apply like your skincare products i don't even forget what i mean so yeah sit back relax and enjoy to the very end if please do well to hit on that subscribe button and make sure to leave your video suggestions down in the comment section and yeah um without further ado let's just dive straight into this video okay I'll, i just got up from the bathroom i had finished applying my lotion which is this one and i'll be going in with my facial so i'll be showing you like every damn thing i use on my face is beginners friendly nothing too pricey i think the most expensive thing i have here is this lotion but it does not matter since we're not like you don't necessarily have to use this particular one but if you have to it will really really um be good like it's really really fine okay so i just finished applying it what i did was just add up my um lotion then <coughs> I'm sorry guys add up my lotion and then go in with my almond seed oil this one i made it myself you can get the one from uh, like you can get any one that you have like if you have i have i also have jujuba oil okay this one i bought for 1000 near a bit less than that something like that so um almond seed oil i don't know how much it is sold for right now because it's been long i got it you get so um just get any which whichever carrier oil you have is perfect most times i go in with my gavia um petroleum jelly i don't apply lotion on my skin especially when i have to go out like in the morning when i have classes i don't go in with my lotion i just um go in with this one or any of the career oils that i had shown to you guys so that is what i basically do on my skin nothing too serious i don't mix anything at, at this point in my life i don't mix anything in my cream and that is my truth okay that is my truth somebody actually said i should um like show you what i use on my skin like uh, my skin recipe what i mix my soup what my soup is um cottage fresh or i make my own black soap but presently i use cottage fresh and then i also use gavia coconut bath is very very fine it's very good so that is what i basically use on my skin then for my face what i want to do now is just this is my rose water okay i also please pardon the noise i also have um this one egg yolk um cleanser and toner if you have like excess oil on your skin and your face you have like you know all those things going on around you it serves as a toner and as a cleanser as well so if you want to try this it's also good i bought it for 1500 now we all know that dollar rate is on the high side now so um i don't know it could be more than that for now but however it is just try this one out or just um i think i have made a review about cleansers that are good very good and affordable just too well to check out that video or better say i'm going to leave the link in my description box what i'm going to do is that anything i mentioned here that maybe you cannot get or you don't find interesting you don't feel like okay like because i not, nothing i'm showing to you guys that i've not reviewed so i'm going to leave links in my description box to check um the videos out and you can make selections from from those ones if you get what i mean so um i'm just in the mood for rose water on my face okay so this is my face up close right i have this baby girl here my skin is all dry right it's all dry right now no hydration so i'm going in with this rose water clean up my face then When you're cleaning your face you don't have to do it too hard on yourself you don't have to be too hard on yourself because if you if you apply too much pressure on your face you you'll find out that you start having whiteness so you just want to keep it slow just um just gradually and just i don't know how to put it though but just try as much as you can to take it slow on your face take it 
gently on your face because it's a very delicate area and you don't want to overdo things okay so yeah you guys made the choices of sunburn i had last week and the black under eyes is gone so this is what i basically do i do it now i'm going to show you everything there is okay okay so i'm done with cleaning off my face then i'm then um, going to let it dry off for like one three seconds then this is my serum niacinamide is um um abutin and niacinamide from dr rachel skin uh, white skin serum is very 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 good for um if it's dark spots smoothen and whitens the skin and as well as you know it's basically for dark spots if you have acne prone skin try out niacinamide serums it could it may not be this one just try anyone that has niacinamide it's very very good for acne prone skin so what you want to do is try not to let the, the straw sit on your face right um just drop it like like so just drop it don't let it sit on your face so that you don't contaminate the remnants the um remnants in the bottle um guys one thing i need to draw your attention to you see how my face and my neck is looking uniform um try as much as you can to let any skincare product that goes to your face down to your neck so that way it's going to make everything look uniform because our, our neck is usually always always our neck and our face is always exposed to sunlight so try to always let it go down there even if it's not going to be uniform but it's not going to be that much um visible that there are different colors like looking differently if you get what i mean so the next product um the serum the niacinamide serum has been sitting on my face for um two minutes now so i'm going to go in with my facial cream and my oil okay oh i didn't tell you how much i bought this one for this one was it sold for about one nine now i don't know how much it is i've been using it for i think it's still somewhere around here i've been using it for um like two months now like this november is going to make it two months so um this is what i use guys basically okay this is what i use on my face um this is stay young face cream i have reviewed this cream i have reviewed it is very 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 good so um this is what i use on my face it's actually very the product in it's very much so you can use this for three months since it's only for your face you can as well use this body and face it's very good because it's for body and face but i use it for my face of course i've shown you guys what i use on my skin so i will just um pat a little bit of it and just um put it in my hand like the one to go around your face then um what i normally do is my vitamin e capsule you guys have reviewed this like i said all the products i'm using on my body i have reviewed okay so you guys you keep asking what i use on my skin what i use on my skin this is basically what i use on my skin nothing um nothing different from what i have reviewed forgot to update you guys that i went back to the qei yeah i had reasons why i did that okay because i don't want to something that okay if i go back to eat and i still change to so another one you guys will keep asking questions and all that so so this is how i apply it this is my oil the vitamin e capsule okay this is it so i just go in with it on my face and apply it taking it down down to my neck you guys can see that this this from here to here they're looking the same and my body is fairer why because we are always responsible to sunlight that's why it is advisable to always have a sunscreen guys have a sunscreen importance of sunscreen eh? i don't know how to put it but it's important that you have a sunscreen so after um, applying my facials 
my skin my lips is dry so like moisturizing my lips so i got the sunscreen this is quite affordable okay this is quite affordable i keep forgetting to tell you guys how much i bought all these things for i bought this vitamin e um, capsule for 750 750 naira then i bought this um stay young face cream you guys can see the price there 1800 i don't know if you guys can see if my camera is focused enough 1800 that's what i bought it for and then this one i bought for 25 okay because the dollar i read is high because i know normally it's not even supposed to get to that amount but because of the dollar rates that's why okay so this um does a sunscreen it's for sensitive skin and it is anti-aging sun milk right so it's very 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 good so a little amount goes a long way you don't want to apply too much of it so i'm going to use my mirror and just just, just apply where you have your where you know you're always exposed to sunlight i'm not i will not be going out today even if i have to go out i'll be going out like from five in the evening but i still have to apply because with the window i'm sitting directly opposite is the sunlight when it gets to like like two three you will see that the sunlight will start penetrating into my room so that is why i even if i'm at home i apply my sunscreen like i apply my sunscreen guys it's important that you apply your sunscreen okay so don't over apply it on your face if not it's going to look like oh juju calabar <laughs> Ah, good. So it's more like locking it up, you know. You know when you apply your foundation. When you apply your foundation, you have to go in with um, what's it called? Um, primer. This is what you need. But this one comes after all your skincare products. I noticed one massive difference when I started using this um, sunscreen, guys. But I noticed that whenever, so like I said, I noticed since I started using the sunscreen on my face, my face has like um is a shade lighter. Why? Because whenever I'm I'm going out, I apply it and it locks up the the product on my face by the way i don't use cream on my skin when i'm going out like i said in as much as i have a sunscreen i still do not use any lotion on my skin neither do i use any facial cream on my face i just go in my, my niacinamide serum and the vitamin e capsule most times i don't even go in with the vitamin e um the niacinamide serum i just go in with my vitamin e capsule and then my sunscreen i'm good to go then when i, I when i'm back i just freshen up and i don't apply anything and sleep then when i wake up i just bit like late at night and I apply my skincare product that's how I, i've been living and it works for me perfectly so um i noticed since i started applying the sunscreen on my face my face has been like a, a shade lighter why because it locks up everything there is on my face like any skincare product on my face and it doesn't allow sun to penetrate on my um directly on my skin so um that you know whenever you are exposed to sunlight you you're you're, you're prone to going dark and you're prone to acne so when you have a sunscreen on your face on that the sun is going to protect you from a lot of things do you get like like early aging and all that like you get what i mean so like i applied everything on my camera apart from my lotion of which i've already told you how i used it so the next thing i just do is just um my my stone body spray just this is old for this is Oud, um istanbul storm body spray and it's sold for one five like everything i'm using here is quite affordable okay and most times after everything i just go in with my um banquet okay this is um jeveni uh, banquet perfume powder it's very very good I, so i also have this false um 
Romano falls uh, the other round body spray. I also have it. It's um a little like it's just remaining a little, but it's very good. I love the fragrance and uh, this is all there is to my skincare and like I said, beginners friendly skincare. You're looking not to start up with um like you're starting to lighten your skin or you're you just don't know how to go about your skin, what product to apply, when to apply and when not to apply it. So um I hope this helps in a way i'll see you guys in my next one please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel and as usual don't forget to leave your video suggestions down in the comment section that way it will help me to uh, know what you guys really want okay so i'll see you guys in my next one bye